Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now, as I'm sure you can tell behind me, I am at the football today. And it's a bit of a weird one today. Uh, I've come to watch Pool Town play against Merthyr Town, but I'm not in Pool or in Merthyr. <laughs> Unfortunately, Pool have a waterlogged pitch, so they've had to relocate their game today to the home of Dorchester Town, not far down the road from me. So I thought I'd pop down, see what it's all about. Of course, what that means is I can get an opportunity to try some non-league football food. Let's see what Dorchester have got to offer. Now, as someone who does the public address for Weymouth, Dorchester are one of our rivals, but I have to say, they have got a nice little setup here at the Avenue Stadium. This was probably built about 20 years ago, probably. Uh, also on Duchy of Cornwall land, a bit like Poundbury, where I was the other day. And of course, they had some input in the way the ground was put together. And the Tesco that's also built next door to it, which is the poshest Tesco you'll ever see. I'll show you that later on. Anyway, let's go get some grub, shall we? So, what I plumped for was a cheeseburger with a portion of chips. I think it's fair to say the chips are done. <laughs> They're definitely golden, if not a bit beyond golden. Now, luckily, I brought a packet of mayo in with me. <laughs> well, I didn't intentionally, it was just in my pocket. Because it didn't have any sauce around. I guess everything been arranged at the last minute for today's game. It's just a bog standard frozen chip. You don't expect much more than that at the footy, but I tell you what, having been cooked quite well, they're not burnt, but they are tasty. Hmm. Not bad. If only I'd found some salt and vinegar in my pocket too. <laughs> right. So the chips aren't bad. I mean, overall, for a price, £5.50 for a cheeseburger and a portion of fries is pretty good. The cheeseburger itself, as we can see, is a fairly bog-standard one. There's the burger. Processed cheese on the top of it. Again, no sauce, <laughs> so hopefully it's not too dry. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Not too bad. It's actually a better burger than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a real sort of cheapy catering type job. But it is a little bit meatier than that. So the patty itself is pretty tasty. The American cheese is just American cheese, you know. We could do with some onion, some relish, something like that. But like I said, the £5.50 with the chips and the football ground, it's all right. Certainly fill in a hole anyway. Not a bad game either. One nil to pull at the moment. See, I told you, it's a posh Tesco. The fountains aren't working at the moment, but <laughs> how many Tesco's have a fountain outside them? So the game's finished up now, which is why I'm stood outside the Tesco. 3-1 defeat for Poole, unfortunately. Three goals in the second half for Merthyr, so they'll, their fans will be happy on that long drive back to South Wales, that's for sure. Plus, I've got to catch up with my cousin today, young Alex. 
Uh, he is the uh, one of the media guys down at Pool Town. He's a big fan, so it was nice to catch up with him, have a little bit of a chat. Yeah, pleasant enough afternoon. Burger and chips wasn't bad. Probably a six or seven out of ten for the money, but it filled a hole. And I did find they had a little table tucked away with some sauces on after. Pretty limited selection, but a bit better than the one sachet of mayo I actually found. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, that's going to be it from me for today. If you've enjoyed today's little video, don't forget, click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, why not consider subscribing and click your little bell for notifications. That way you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. Okay, time to go home. Catch you on the next one.